Hi everyone, in this video we are going to cover reproduction costs. Understanding this concept is absolutely critical in mastering the cost approach. I'm Trevor Hubbard, I'm an adjunct professor at the University of San Diego, a senior review appraiser at the United States Navy and Marine Corps, and I have the MAI, SRA, and AI GRS designations from the Appraisal Institute. Since this topic falls within the overall cost approach, I will include a link at the end of this video to other important concepts. Reproduction cost is defined in the Dictionary of Real Estate Appraisal as the estimated cost to construct at current prices as of the effective date of the appraisal an exact duplicate or replica of the building being appraised using the same materials, construction standards, design, layout, and quality of workmanship and embodying all the deficiencies, superadequacies, and obsolescence of the subject building. Put differently, reproduction costs are the expenses associated with building an exact replica of the subject improvements as of the date of value. Now the operative words here are an exact replica. This means using the exact same of the subjects, materials, construction standards, design, layout, and quality of workmanship. Although building an exact replica might sound straightforward, as any Hollywood set designer will confirm, that might be extremely difficult or potentially impossible. An example of why it might be extremely difficult to build an exact replica would include a situation where the subject contained intricate stained glass windows from Tiffany's. While it certainly may be possible to build an exact replica of that window, it's probably going to be extremely difficult, time-consuming, and expensive if Tiffany only has a few artisans that know how to build that window. An example of why it might be impossible to build an exact replica would include a situation where the subject contains knob and tube wiring. For those of you who are unaware of what knob and tube wiring is, don't feel bad. Knob and tube wiring is frequently found in older buildings constructed from the 1880s to the 1930s and involves wires insulated, no joke, by cloth. These conductors are supported along their length on nailed down porcelain knob insulators. When the conductor extends through a joist, it would pass through a ceramic tube, hence the name knob and tube wiring. Because this obsolete construction standard involves some safety concerns, insurance companies are very likely going to charge a premium if the subject property contains this element. It would be potentially impossible to install knob and tube wiring today because it would be prohibited by most building codes due to these safety concerns. As noted in the definition, reproduction costs also include any costs that might be considered super adequate items. The Dictionary of Real Estate Appraisal defines super adequacy as an excess in the capacity or quality of a structure or structural component determined by market standards. An example of a super adequate item would include lath and plaster walls in an older building. Lath consists of narrow strips of wood which are nailed down to wall studs or ceiling joists and then coated in plaster. Lath and plaster was replaced by drywall or gypsum board around the 1930s. Compared to drywall, lath and plaster is expensive, time-consuming, and requires a specialist's eye. All else equal, lath and plaster would be considered super adequate in new construction. This is because it is expensive, and yet it contributes no more to the overall value than the less expensive drywall option. To recap, the purpose of this video was to describe reproduction costs. For more information on other critical concepts on the cost approach, you're encouraged to watch my other videos at the end of this, which will include the difference between reproduction costs and replacement costs. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you'd like to show your support, please hit the like button at the bottom of the video for the Google algorithm and subscribe to my channel.